Intrauterine insemination, or IUI, is a fertility treatment in which the man's sperm is placed into the woman's uterus at the time of ovulation to help her get pregnant. Uh, and the way this is done is that once um, ovulation is occurring, uh, the woman comes to the office, a speculum is placed in the vagina like a pap smear, and then a little teeny plastic tube is placed through the cervix up into the uterus, and the sperm is injected through that tube with a little syringe. Uh, the tube is then removed, uh, and the woman is allowed to go home. It's really painless and actually um, quite simple. And so that's IUI in a nutshell. Now, who do we use IUI for? Intrauterine insemination is used if there's a male factor. So if the man isn't making sperm or isn't, um, isn't making enough sperm or the sperm don't swim well, this can give the sperm a head start. So we can take you know, the, the semen specimen, which maybe doesn't have very much sperm, and put it up into the uterus to give the sperm a head start and increase the odds of pregnancy. Uh, in a man that doesn't make any sperm, we can use what's called donor sperm, or if the woman doesn't have a partner. And there are sperm banks for this where a woman can get basically buy sperm from a sperm bank, um, generally usually from an anonymous donor, and then that sperm is used to inject up into the uterus uh, when a woman is ovulating. That is the, the primary way in which IUI is done. Now the other category of infertility that we use in intrauterine insemination for is so-called unexplained infertility. So we've done a big workup. The man's sperm seems to work well. The woman's anatomy is all normal. She's ovulating every month, but they're still not getting pregnant. Intrauterine insemination is something that can be done that often can increase pregnancy rate. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is that there may be factors at the cervix itself uh, that we really aren't good at testing for. And this bypasses the cervix by putting the, the sperm right up into the uterus. It also can increase pregnancy rates just because it simply gets the sperm closer to the egg. And so um, there's a higher chance that the sperm and egg will come together and pregnancy will occur. Now, IUI is often done in conjunction with something that increases ovulation. Um, and that can be either the uh, Clomid um, or it can be done with injectable medications that can give uh, even more eggs. If it's done that way, the risk of multiples is really increased greatly. Um, and that's the kind of situation where you have higher order multiples such as Octomom. Um, so that has to be done very carefully. But just straight intrauterine insemination does not increase the risk of multiples um, and really has very little risk. It's just a little inconvenient because at the time of ovulation, you sort of have to drop everything and come to the doctor's office to have the insemination occur. MedTwice.com